Nowhere in the scripture does it teach that you are to search and pursue happiness. You find happiness as you do your duty. You find happiness as you lead a disciplined life before God. You'll have periods of happiness. It's not a goal. Our goal is to obey God. Our goal is to do the will of God. Our goal is to be a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we move along, we will pick up happiness here and there along the way. If you sense a longing for God, a desire to change and be a new person, that's God speaking to your heart. And as you respond, he will give you the ability and the power to change because he has to do the changing. To delay makes the right decision harder. And indecision in itself is a choice. You decide tonight that you're going to wait till some other time. That's a choice. Away from God. And your heart gets harder, the Bible says. And the next time you have an opportunity to come to Christ, your heart may not be as ready as it is tonight. Christ can fill that cosmic void in your heart. The purpose and the meaning of my life, Christ can give you the answer. He can fill that cosmic void in your heart because that void in your heart is made because you are made in the image of God. And without God, there's a void there that only God can fill. Nothing else can fill it. Marriage can't fill it. Drugs can't fill it. Sex can't fill it. Alcohol can't fill it. Friendships can't fill it. The church even can't fill it. Relig religion can't fill it. But the person of Jesus Christ can fill it. And can give you a brand new life. From tonight on, if you're willing to accept the challenge of Christ, who loved you so much that he died on the cross and rose again and is alive tonight, ready to come into your heart and into your life.